airports are often associated with heavy carbon emissions. Yet less than 400 meters from Cape Town's busy airport is what's claimed to be Africa's greenest hotel. From the outside, there may be few clues. Step inside, though, and it's a different story. The walls are alive with indigenous plants, as well as alien wood from a deforestation project. Wind turbines keep the lights on, and should you fancy a quick workout in the gym, this equipment feeds your expended energy directly into the power supply. From the minute this hotel was actually built, um, everything was planned to make it a green, sustainable hotel. The way the world's going at the moment, the only way that one can do is to work sustainably and to make sure that you have those measures in place. We have electricity that is going up, our resources are running out, and hence the, the decision to go sustainably and self-sufficient as far as possible. The hotel food is drawn from an aquaponic system, a sustainable system that combines a mini fish farm with vegetable production. The hotel is not just a lesson in green living, but a lesson in green building. We've implemented a host of sustainability initiatives, energy efficiency, water efficiency, waste reduction, the right materials, recycle content, rapidly renewable content. So basically what we've built here is a, is a flagship, a benchmark if you will. And our belief and our hope is that the industry will follow suit at least to some degree. And the price of going green in a Cape Town hotel, around $100 a night for a double room, roughly on par with the city's more traditional hotels. This hotel's move to a greener future isn't over yet. There's also plans underway to revive this wetlands behind me and try and lure back indigenous wildlife who once lived here. Travis Andrews, CCTV, Cape Town.